And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lux mid-range. So we're going to be uh, putting together a deck with both Karma and Lux. I've so far played both Karma and Lux with Heimerdinger. We've gone like Heimerdinger Lux control and Heimerdinger Karma control. But now we're uh, getting rid of Heimerdingers and instead putting Lux and Karma together. Uh, this is a list that another streamer was playing. I didn't write down the name. Forgot the name. I think it, um, unfortunately, but another streamer was playing it and was doing pretty well with it. So I wanted to give it a try. There's a lot of card choices that I wouldn't necessarily uh, put together, like I wouldn't really play, and so I wanted to see how how they play out. Um, you know, I got like a card. <clears throat> that probably says that more than any other is where is it standalone like i don't you know so if you have exactly one ally you give it plus three plus three um of course that's permanent plus three plus three um so you know you can kind of think of that as like three one one counters on it so i don't know if i love that card too much but basically karma is just such good value of being able to um you know, be able to get you all those spells. I think mostly what it is, is like you play Karma as your only creature and they try to use removal and it's just another way to protect from removal. There's a lot of three damage removal going around right now. Hey, Bio Peligroso. Peligroso. Thank you so much for the sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel there, Bio. Um... And, uh, and yeah, so let's let's kind of give it a try. So it really looks like we're going just for Karma, Lux, and then hoping to keep them alive. We have two Detains and two Purifies. We have that combo of, like, detaining um, something onto, a like, you know, an Emerald Awakener or whatever, and then purifying it. I guess that's not something you want to purify. Maybe a Shadow Assassin. Um, yeah, not not quite sure how, how well this will play. Like, but it looks interesting. We have Karmas, we have Luxes. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play. Uh, verse player, Karma Lux mid range ranked, and here we go. Hi, welcome. Thank you, Bio. Was it Nidai? Maybe. I think it was like a Spanish or Portuguese stream. I don't think it was an English stream. The player that's playing this, if I remember correctly. I I got it like, uh, I saw it like a couple of days ago, so I also kind of have a fuzzy memory of exactly what it was. Because it was like a few days ago. Um, let's see. We just replace them all. Wonder why we have Bright Steel Protector. What are they playing? Zed. I'm just gonna pass instead of playing the protector. And then I have assassin with the shadow assassin with the standalone to protect it. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Or, you know, make it a, a five five. The order rewards its faithful. Okay, so they didn't did not attack into it. I guess maybe I was supposed to try to do Awakener 
standalone. I was thinking getting the, the thing in the air, but maybe I was supposed to do the, the big lifelink creature. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Damage. Give an ally plus three plus zero this round. So I can go a lot of different ways to save. Save the Shadow Assassin and I'll go with the barrier lifesteal route. I know it uses, you know, we don't get to store any mana by going that route. Act natural. I got you. They're gonna have some very large creatures with playing three Omen Hawks now. No, that is true, yeah. So I guess the lifelink didn't really matter because hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Um you can only go at yeah, you can only go to twenty. You can't go above twenty in this game. They'll never see us coming. Yeah, that duo's pretty big. We'll purify it though, so it just goes back to being a regular old 2-1. Ooh, karma. Where there is life, there is hope. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Bleh. That was a good card. That is a cool combo, you know, Wayfinder getting double Omen Hawk. I mean, I'm down for anything with Omen Hawk, basically. Alright, so this is normally a 2 3. Got it. Quietly. Don't ask how I got it. My shield is yours. Alright, get to play some defense. Because they played that pre combat. This way. You cannot escape. I will learn from you. With conviction. <laughs> now nah, that thing's dying. Just got three cards. These are dangerous lands. Oh, 
Who a Lux now? Let the light shine. We are looking very good. Just all spells. Oh, what is this thing? Ooh, ritual of renewal. That card's good. Everyone here? Let's go. Let's brighten up their day. Hmm. Yeah, I think they probably just want to chomp and clear up a space. All right, time to just keep time to start casting spells. That's a good card. Um. You have a lot of elusive creatures. Hmm. Or if they're just going to pass if I pass. Like they may just pass back. Which would just be me wasting nine mana and all these cards. Nope. No pass back. No closer. It's too late for you. So how many one drops have they gotten so far? They've gotten five. They probably don't have like that many one drops in their deck. This is my choice. Rest. Collect your thoughts. Probably have like one more one drop in their deck. Maybe two. But you know, like they probably have like six one drops. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they just surrendered. They're just... There's so many ways, you know, for me to easily win that. Or, you know, not easily, but, like, that, that was definitely going to be a, a win for me. It's just, you know, it's just basically what cards I want to play. You know, I just have so many options. It kind of takes a little bit to, to figure out which card. Ugh, I need 4,000 experience for this champion capsule. We're going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> well, well, we'll get that tomorrow. Between the expedition for tomorrow and the and the daily quest. Alright, that's an easy mulligan. Alright, got a karma. Yeah, I could just take the four. That's true, I could just take it. Don't really need to bounce that other card. Because I don't really want to spend an expensive. Because, like... Oh, I guess if that got denied, would that have counted towards Lux's ability? I guess I'm not sure how that works. Nothing escapes my it may not have. Um... Hmm... Okay, so then I could have played a Detain, and that would have been six. For the 
homestead. We'll save the spell mana and then kind of see what we do. This is definitely one of my least favorite cards in the deck, this Bright Steel Protector. You're covered. We don't have anything else to play, though. But, I, you know, like, that's not a trade that I really want to make. Alright, so I can give that thing plus three, plus three, and still have, and save this mana, and still have uh, mana to protect karma, but not really, I guess. Because all my protection costs four mana, and we'll only have three to go with karma. So I guess I have to wait another turn. Which doesn't sound intriguing, but I mean, I guess that's just how it is. See what they do. If they, you know, tap out, maybe we could play the karma, but there it is. Hmm. I don't really like my options. I mean, an option is just not doing anything, but I don't really like that option either. Like, I just don't really like any of the options. Gotcha. I have so many of these four mana cards to play. Troop of Elnux. Pretty broken. By force of will. I'm starting to not like that Troop of Elnux card. That's... Like, just every time we played against it yesterday, it was three creatures. Now today it was four creatures. I haven't seen it be less than three creatures in a very long time. Why 
do I have this Bright Steel Protector card? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you're having trouble with the matchmaking. If if you are, like, I mean, the only thing I would know or, like, think to do would be to, uh, you know, you can try closing the client, reopening the client. I know what lurks in the shadows. That about, that'd be about the only thing I could think of. Attack. Block. Will of Ionia. Ouch. Ouch. We still have a good amount of mana. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. And I'm basically hoping that Karma can find some pretty sweet spells for us. Dawn and Dusk. Oh, I can make some more Karmas. Five mana left. Oh, European Union server went down for an update. By force of will. Another. <clears throat> Alright, so they're going to be able to transform Elise. That's okay. Let me change into something more. Come I think that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play this, I have eight. So I was thinking like, so can I make like two more karmas and then at end step, do I get three cards? So basically I'll be, oh, that's not, that's not that good. Uh, let's play this thing. Never mind, that's not that good.
Should I even be that scared of Hecarim? I guess the smart play is yes. Yes, I should be that scared of Hecarim. Oh, I have too many cards in hand. That was such a good card, though. That was such a good card. Uh, I thought that was judgment. So I just have four mana left to try to protect Karma, because now I have to just keep protecting Karma, because if they kill Karma, then they get their Hecarim back. Should have just done this the last turn. They probably have multiple removal spells for Karma, which I have, I have one protection. So they're probably getting the Hecarim back now. Um, too many spells. I should have detained on one of the 2-2, two -two, shouldn't I? And then I would have purified it. That's what I should have done. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely what I should have done. I should not have detained on Karma. I had the detain purify combo. I should have just put it on one of the flyers. That's not a good spell. Uh, okay. My hand is pretty bad. It's kind of surprisingly bad. Ugh, my hand is surprisingly bad. But yeah, I, I messed that up. I messed I definitely messed up that whole play. You're covered. My path is clear. An open heart teaches more than open eyes. They just passed a little bit ago. I'm hoping they just pass again. 
What happens if their battlefield is full and then they get Hecarim back? Does Hecarim just go away? One candle for every soul. He goes poof. So I recall karma. Hecarim goes poof. My wisdom is now my strength. I will play my part. My hand is so bad. I can't even do anything. Oh my gosh, they messed that up so bad. I mean, my hand is bad, but they messed that up really bad too. Like, they need to put... All they had to do is pull my life linker down to the end, and I was dead. Now I'm going down... Now I'm going to one. That's all they had to do. The light shines through me. As it will forever, my dear. Can I win this with a whole lot of Luxes? You only get one spark? Really? Oh, well. That doesn't help. Alright, well, I got blown out there. Yeah, so like my, my plan was yeah to get to get yeah to play Lux, I'll get one I'll get yeah, I'd have like three Luxes out and then I'd cast Remembrance and I was hoping that all three would give me a spark and so I'd have so I'd have four total final sparks with that play. Died, then found hope. That was my plan. Huh. I guess it doesn't get Hecarim. I guess Hecarim doesn't count as actually dying. Mm 
Yeah, I knew that that dusk wouldn't do all six, all three. But yeah, so I was, I was hoping I was gonna get four. So I can get three random spells, but then I don't draw for turn. So it basically ends up being two. Ooh, okay. I wish you could choose new targets. But it's always the, just the same targets. If you could choose new targets, that would be awesome. Come to the night. Oh, the others don't. The other luxes don't flip. I will play my part. Can you have two barriers? So I'm basically just doing what I can to, to try to gain as much life and stay alive. Like these things are, these will all die, but that's fine. Cause like I'm back at 20, I got all this cool stuff in hand. And they still have their five cards, but. Let the light guide you. Yeah, so doubling the spells isn't always super beneficial. Hey, Tumelo. Judgment, eh? So they're gonna try to to dark mark to uh, have this lose ephemeral and give it to one of my things. At least that's my assumption. Death mark. But if it doesn't have ephemeral to begin with, then as far as I know, they can't give it to me. Good. Yeah, I lost the life steal as well. So yeah, hopefully like I'm you know I'm going big time with like the reinforcements and these remembrances and stuff. Reinforcements. So we double up the reinforcements with karma. So we're gonna get four elites, give them all plus two plus two, and then get two, you know, flip lux, get two spells.
Yeah, but we'd only... Lux was at four, but we'd still only get... We'd only flip Lux one time if, we, if I would have cast Stone Seeds. It's not like we'd flip Lux twice. Oh, but, but Karma plays the final Sparks twice. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, this this combo seems like it's gonna get out of hand. Sure is dark, eh? Between uh, Lux and Karma. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Remembrance. Let's get two things. So that gets me a final spark. This gets me a final spark. And each final spark we cast twice. That's pretty silly. So we just spent one spell that's going to get me, you know, all this stuff. Uh, we'll kill this thing. We'll kill the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, you double up the sparks and you make two of them at a time. No more it's... Come on. Can I not play this? Oh, I guess it's their oh it's their turn. I was thinking it was my priority. Sure. Let me drain one from that. A beacon through the dark. This is our first game still, we're forty three minutes in. Oh no no no, it's not our first game, never mind, it's our third game. <laughs> I looked down at, at that end, saw there's nothing there. I think it was our first game. All right, so that's attacking and dragging that, and these are attacking. Uh, let's say they block there. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So no, if I or no, so not not lethal. I mean, I guess I could just cast another Remembrance. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah, if I would have just... Yeah, if I would, if I just would not have attacked, if I would have just cast another Remembrance, we would have got nothing from it, but we would have got the two Final Sparks. And then I Final Spark uh, both of those. Yeah, so it was lethal by not just casting Remembrance. I, I didn't realize I had so much mana, to be honest. I thought, I didn't think I had enough mana to, to play that. Okay, so I guess I just pass and I just go for judgment, which won't kill everything. Oh wait, I double judgment, so yeah, never mind, it does kill everything. Alright, 
and then I need to go straight to combat. I, I can't cast these final sparks. Because uh, they have to have units out. But I have to go straight to combat in case they had a ruination. Okay, two and one. That was a, a good, long, difficult game. But, man, Karma plus Lux. That's some crazy stuff right there. Double, you know, getting two sparks that are doubled. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let me finish getting this YouTube video up. Uh, let's see, we're gonna just replace all those. Just gotta survive long enough. All right, same kind of matchup. So I'm just passing, because then I'm going to play the Awakener with Standalone. That's my plan. I knew. Could have probably turned that into a combat trick and like attacked and they block and stuff like that. I guess this is better to barrier. It's five damage. Because like these things that are like three damage, like each one we can kind of we can cancel out with those. I'm going to take the 7 damage first and then gain 5 life back, so, it's, so I'm only taking 2. <clears throat> okay, or they just do that. Fair enough. Drain one for a spider. Get that spooky spider. All right, draw some more cards. Basically spent two cards to draw two. And I'm just gonna play Lux here with the three mana backup to be able to protect the Emerald Awakener.
still, but, you know, have the Lux with the barrier to be able to attack with. And now, once we start casting spells, start triggering Lux. No, oh, you're attacking too. You're all attacking. Okay, so you're going to block here, you can block here, and I got 10 mana, these things are all burst, so we're going to give this plus 3, plus 0, and a barrier. Hey, after wizard, you're trying to get judgment down as early as possible when you're playing this kind of deck control style. I can see that. One candle for every sun. Okay. <clears throat> Make it easier to kill this Hecarim. Thought they were gonna make that block. So we'll just, you know, heal three. And get that damage in. Rally. Interesting. I have eight mana. Don't think the rally is bad for me. I will learn from you. This is my choice. Do they have another Hecarim in hand? We burn, then kindle a new. Okay.
What am I doing? Why do I keep doing that? I could put it... I could put that on, like, one of these other things and then purify it. Why do I keep on doing that? I keep on forgetting about the whole purify thing. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely the, the plan, or the play. That's two games in a row that I didn't do the better play of detain, you know, detain plus purify. I still have still have the deny to protect Lux with. Could do three damage to me. Not even a big deal. My wisdom is now my strength. This is my cause. Light falls. I forgot that thing was turning into a 9 7 now. It's pretty big. That's pretty big. Could have attacked with Lux also because they had to block the 9 7. So I could have attacked with Lux also. No, bad harrowing. And they're dead. Surrendered. Three and one. Ooh, we're almost out of gold. Not, and <laughs> that's usually a bad sentence to say, you're almost out of gold. But I mean, like, we're almost to whatever is next after gold. I really wish they had the, the words, because, yeah, for colorblind people, that is really tough to see. And and just even besides that, there are such small variations. Platinum. Okay. Oh, it's the Spooky Karma deck, the deck that we're going to be playing up next. Love spooky karma. Yes, yeah, so that's this is gonna be the deck that we're playing up next. All right, we're just saving up mana. I knew, and now I have. Silence as death. Strength from within. It's too late for you. Cool. I've got your back. The order rewards the faithful. My steel is yours. All 
All right, so are we both just going to play Karmas? This next turn. Got another insight of ages. Let's get a random spell. Protect and strike. And they got nine mana. But so they're ahead on mana, but I'm ahead on cards. I'm just gonna play like the other karma. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not gonna try to fight over that one. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. We got plenty more. Yeah, same. I'm not exactly sure how this matchup will play out, so it's definitely interesting. I will play my part. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to attack with the karma this time. It's too late for you. Denied. Cease. Yeah, they play rats and harrowing, yep. Blech. That's not a good spell. So we can only get Demacia and Ionia spells for the random spells. Better to play Lux or Karma. Where there is life, there is hope. Uh, 
basically casting those things to get them out of my hand because you know, like we're gonna have too many cards. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. So. Can't quite kill them. I could go, you know, another standalone, and I could do six more damage. No suffering. We may end it. Hmm. I'm a little worried about playing Lux and my last Karma together. A little worried. They're not really tapping out. This makes four random spells. They'll give me up to ten cards. I didn't cast that standalone. I have seven mana now? Oh, I miscounted. My whole plan was judgment. Uh. Peace has its cost. Never back down from what you believe. Hold back the darkness. I miscounted, yeah. I was definitely planning on playing Judgment. Would have been the perfect Judgment play. Still have the double final burst. No more holding yeah. So we had the, the karma mirror where we had karma advantage. We drew our karmas, my opponent did not draw their karmas. And my karmas were great. All right, so it turns out the Karma Mirror, you want, you want your Karmas. Yeah, zero copies of Vengeance. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how many Vengeances they play. 
I mean, it's more surprising that they had zero copies of Karma. But yeah, they had no Karmas and no Vengeances. Let's see. Uh, yeah, actually, no, the deck doesn't play Vengeance. Like, the one that I have... Yeah, no, there's, there's zero Vengeance in the deck. That's the link there. Mulligan. Where's Karma? Or Lux? There's there's Lux. Vladimir and Hecarim. Yeah, Vengeance is just probably just a little too pricey. Uh, I thought that was single combat. Single combat's our best draw. Right now. I knew, and now I am. You're covered. Or standalone, sorry, that that's the card I meant to say was standalone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, standalone was our best draw. I was saying the wrong card. My is now my strength. My steel is yours. This is my cause. The two two can't block the three twos. I think it's okay to trade it away. Because our goal is to get to the late game, and that's helping us get to the late game. Dang, that's pretty good. Karma go. Well, hopefully they don't have more of those. But looks like they do. Maybe I should have just gone with the remembrance first. No, I, I don't feel bad about that. Dang. I was not expecting vengeance. I will admit, I was not expecting vengeance. Alright, we just gotta bounce that. Try to save the damage. Yeah, I guess the Karma Control decks are just playing the Ruinations, so maybe that's why they're not playing Vengeance, because you just have Ruination. I don't think they're going to be able to kill this for four mana. Yes. Purify. Boo. 
Not escape. Yeah, they still got five cards over there. Master. This isn't good. They still have five cards, it is. Heal. I'd never keep my guest waiting. All right, so we're going to need judgment to save us. try just the deny plan and we can only play one thing deny or barrier and it's probably better to have to save one deny one barrier instead of just saving two denies okay stack resolves they still they have four cards in hand but all their stuff dead. That thing. That thing takes one. You know, the thing stayed at one, but uh, the Vladimir trigger killed it. Thugs. Everywhere I go, the light follows. That's a top deck. They got five cards still, including one of them's a spell. Cavalry to the field. I don't really need to attack with that thing. Okay, survive that. The harrowing. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like you like your emotes. I get it. Well, it looks like I should have used barrier and not the deny, right? I should have kept the deny. So lesson learned. Keep deny. Use the barrier. Um... Yep, so need to save deny. Alright, four and two. Now we're on such a good win streak. Getting close to exiting gold. How many denies we have in our deck? Because deny has been looking really good with us playing it here. It looks better than like that Will of Ionia, for example. Oh, now Spooky Karma again. No, 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 no. Yeah, so there's only two denies. For how this for how this format's shaping up, because yeah, this is just another um, harrowing deck. It does seem like just like these really big sorceries are, are super popular right now. And deny is in a great spot. Would have liked to have that last turn. Now if I want to protect this, now I don't have protection for karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Ionia speaks through me. We must make our own path. No, 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 no! Yeah, Harem came, absolutely. I was thinking, like, taking out one of the Will of Ionias. That card hasn't looked nearly as good as, like, what Deny would be. It has allowed us to bounce a couple...
Like, I guess it has allowed us to balance a couple of things. Like, Will of Ionia would have been nice here, but so would Deny. That's what your control list looks like. You have all the denies. Peace has its cost. I will learn from you. So yeah, you have no yeah, you have no will of Ionia as all the denies. You have chain vests. Yeah, playing against Chain Vest, it, it looks it looks pretty good playing against it. Like, it's an annoying card that multiple times I'm, I'm like, oh, I wish my opponent didn't have Chain Vest. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So this game my opponent has had more karma activation so far. I'll protect you. My path is clear. An open heart teaches more than open eyes. But well, that death mark's only going to be good as if if they give me ephemeral. Okay, deny could be really good. We must make our own path. All right, let's see. I don't think I really want to... Um, I've been hiding my life too long. 
Oh, Harem King, get in the sub. Getting us to that sub goal. Let's see. I don't think I really want to block all these 1-1s, one to be honest. I kind of want to just leave them out there. Wait, what's going on? Okay. I guess I didn't really consider this. Them having a spell we need to counter and then pumping a whole bunch. The body must thrive the Why are they healing themselves three? Why even cast that? I got a... Wait, did that card not give it lifesteal? I didn't gain life. Why did I gain life? Did I not get the card that gave lifesteal? I thought I was casting a card that gave lifesteal, but... Um, I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention with all the different cards and everything. That was a rep repost. Oh, they gave it plus... Oh, that's... Yeah, because they gave it plus three, so it didn't give lifesteal. Well, that, that was in my, my head that, I, that we were going to be having lifesteal for that. Hmm. Whoops. I guess I needed to... Need to block some more, I, I suppose. Um, Alright, so we only finished 4 and 3. Kind of disappointing last two games. Um... You know, if I would have saved the deny, that second to last game, and then I just made a poor block there, much poorer than I thought that I was making in my head whenever I made it. I don't know why I was thinking I was life stealing, but I, would, I didn't. <clears throat> oh, well, so there's Karma, Lux, mid range. Still felt really powerful. Um, I think what I'd want to do is. So, okay. So the, the Bright Seal Protector I, di I didn't really like, but yeah, Deny deny definitely felt like it needs to be a 3 of. But we can't really have tons of 4 mana spells. So maybe maybe one of these 4 mana spells or 5 mana, or Detain. Yeah, we could just get rid of a Detain or a Will of Ionia. I think I'd want to get rid of one of these two. Um, and since we already have Detains, probably just get rid of Will of Ionia and get that other Deny in there. Yeah, I think that's that's what I want to do. Because Deny was really good all the time. Is there just not a better 2-drop to play than this Bright Seal Protector? Is that like the best one? Didn't really seem like that great. Yeah, the single combat is kind of weird. Yeah, chain maybe chain vest or more more yeah more chain vest health potion. I guess there's not really a good value to drop at least that I own. Maybe better just to play a couple of Mage Seeker Conservators. Getting a a random six plus cost spell is nice. 
And yeah, I could see playing Chain Vest instead of Single Combat. The Single Combats were really... They were pretty awkward. <clears throat> I could definitely see playing Chain Vest instead. I'm not going to just craft them just to put them in, but yeah, I'd say... Like, Protector, like, later on, when I give you Protector on the, like, you know... It's it's actually not that bad. You know, it's a 3-2. Okay, Actually, I kind of... Yeah, it's fine. But maybe changing out the single combats and getting, like, either two chain vests or, like, one chain vest and a health potion. I like health potion. I think that's an underrated card. Um, I'd have to say the standalone played a lot better than I expected. Standalone with Emerald Awakener actually was really nice. Like, that was actually a really cool combo that you could just do on turn three. Um, you just... You know, don't play anything turn one, turn two, and then you can just play Awakener plus Standalone on turn three. And then you untap and you keep mana up. And if you don't use, you know, for protection, and then you just uh, save that mana, so then you can play Karma and still have the protection. Um, yeah, I think Chain Vest is... Uh, the reason why Chain Vest is kind of better right now than normal is because Shadow Isles is so popular, because Shadow Isles is, is very strong and it's really popular, and there's a lot of... Um, and even and even just P and Z. So there's a lot of like damage based stuff, um, but like specifically like the one damage stuff from Shadow Isles is really nice to have a chain vest for. And yeah, it's just one mana, so it's that's that's also good that it's just so cheap, very easy to play. Even on that like that turn four, if you're just going to be saving the other three mana, you can just use the chain vest and still still save the three mana and and you know that one mana that would have been burnt. I like it. I think that's. I'm not going to just craft a mean, but yeah, I think I'm going to replace these single combats with like either two chain vests or one chain vest and a health potion. Okay, so there we go. So there's Karma Lux midrange. All right, we're going to be playing that spooky Karma deck that we played against a couple of times up next. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you're doing in this metagame. Let me know what you think of this Karma Lux midrange deck because... Um, it did feel really strong and, and you know two of my losses there felt like i could have played a little better um and and everything it did seem like if we were playing against an aggro deck like we were going to struggle but there's there's not a whole lot of aggro in the format like there's some but uh you know we played against the slower decks and it felt like our, our deck was really powerful in that respect all right but that's it here for karma lux midrange so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video